In this video, traders, we're gonna look at improving your trading through proper nutrition. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so we all know we've gotta be disciplined, we all know we've gotta to to do our analysis, we've got to look at the market, we've got the right setups, but what about the simple things that are so easy to do it makes perfect sense if we can get a lose the needle just a little bit on trading performance, it's a win. Okay, so trading nutrition is something that we often overlook. I know that myself, I've been through phases where all I've probably eaten is the worst possible foods. Even when my performance has been good as a trader, I tend to slack off and I think, well, actually how much more could I have made there when you have drawdowns? You kind of have a little bit of a closer thing, look at your diet, try and do what you can to get back into profitability quickly and you get this cycle. Whereas it just makes sense now to just be good with your nutrition. If you wanna become a good trader, if you want to kind of perform at the highest level at your best possible, best possible ability that you can do, why not just improve your nutrition? So let's get right down to it, guys. Number one, I've got actually one, two, three, four, five, six things for you here to look at. Number one is drinking. Drinking antioxidant drinks like lemon, pomegranate, ginger teas, spice teas, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, uh, by the way, let me just put the caveat here. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a real health person either. I've just done bits and bits of research and kind of sharing this with you. If you've got more experience in it, very much welcome your comments in the comment section below. I'm learning as much as you guys are on this, but I'm just sharing some of the good stuff that I've spotted. So anyway, this kind of stuff is good for getting going in the morning, like a lemon, a pomegranate, a kind of spice tea, something like this. Personally, I quite like a cup of coffee as well. We'll come to caffeine in a second, but these are the kind of things that help you kind of get a kickstart, get rid of all, your, all the things that you don't really want in your body and just generally feed your body good stuff. Second thing is food. So your diet generally, I'm not gonna go into kind of what we should, we should be eating, just knowing, you know, if you're watching this, I'm guessing you kind of know we ought to have a really balanced diet, right? We're gonna have some protein, some carbs, some fats. We don't wanna be eating pepperoni pizzas for breakfast. We don't wanna be eating full English, uh, Englishes. We don't wanna be eating Big Macs all the time. I don't say we can't have it, but for you know, when we want it from time to time. But from a trading perspective, you know, starting the day right with a kind of good breakfast, eating a light lunch, not going too crazy with the evening meal if it's not gonna get, if you're gonna mean you get a bad sleep, that kind of stuff. Just being reasonably sensible. Listen, we're not training to be Olympic athletes here. We're training to be athletes in a different arena. So whilst it's not so imperative that we're being a ridiculous about this, it makes sense to maybe make a few tweaks and a few changes, because like I say, if it just moves the needle a little bit on a training performance, you're gonna make some money out of it. So why not? All right, uh, water, other thing is like maintaining body temperature is good for maintaining body temperature, carrying vital nutrients and staying hydrated. You know yourself, if you don't have water, you get a headache, you feel rubbish, you're not gonna perform very well. So just staying hydrated. I know there's a fine line actually between staying hydrated and having to run to the toilet every five minutes because you've been guzzling water. So I appreciate that from a trading perspective, but it's something we often forget we're sitting in front of the screen, we're doing research, we're doing this, we're doing that, and we kind of forget to drink the water. So it's handy, I think, just having a bottle of water there or a couple of gla a glass of water and maybe just a reminder to keep filling it up and keep yourself hydrated. Common sense, guys, but you know, often we forget these things. We're so focused on the market, we forget to drink some water and look after the body and the mind that's actually making us the training decisions. Okay, so I've got some analysis here, guys, for vitamins, for A, B, C, D, E, K, folic acid, calcium, and iron. I wanna share with you some of my findings. So vitamin A ensures good eyesight, obviously, imperative with trading. You've got to have good eyesight and it's very easy to start in front of the screen to neglect your eyes and realize, hey, you're always focusing on short-term things. And actually, let me just digress slightly. From an eyesight perspective, it's good to kind of keep looking at distances if we can, because we're so caught up in looking at the screens and to keep blinking. That's just something extra that I found from previous research. But vitamin A for eyesight. Okay, vitamin B, um, this is referring to B1, B2, B3, and all those other different types. Uh, this converts your food into energy and also preventing memory loss. Obviously, we don't want memory loss as a trader. Increasing body immunity. Um, really basically saying that if you have a lack, lack of vitamin B, then you may well be ill more often than not. So it makes sense to keep up your things like fish, meat, eggs, whole grains, 
potatoes, bananas, that kind of stuff. They've all got good vitamin Bs in. Vitamin C, good for growth and repair of tissues, also for immunity as well. Uh, you, if you don't have a lot of vitamin C, you're gonna feel tired, maybe you're gonna feel sore, you're gonna have joint pain. Um, in really extreme cases, you, you, you kind of, you, it's quite damaging not to have a lot of vitamin C. Um, so you get this stuff, as you know, guys, from orange juice, uh, oranges, fruits, just things like that. Uh, vitamin D, uh, this is the kind of stuff that you get from um, sunlight, you get it from eggs, fish, and mushrooms. It keeps you strong, it kind of keeps your, uh, it keeps your body in balance and it keeps you alert. Vitamin E is, a, is really about blood circulation, so it allows you to withstand stress a little bit more. So if you're in a stressful condition, as we all are as traders from time to time, um, the market moves against you, you're kind of in a position you don't like, you've had a few losers in a row, all the kind of stuff we'd have to go into what causes stress as a market a trader, uh, but it does. And having that supply of vitamin D uh, enables you to remain calm or helps you to remain calm. I'm not saying that, this is E by the way, not D, I think I said D. Uh, e helps you to remain calm. I'm not saying that E supplement is gonna allow you to remain calm and focused forever, but like I say, these little things will help and add up. K is needed for blood coagulation. Um, it also prevents supposedly, according to some of the research, type two diabetes and heart disease. Um, without it, We've got a real deficiency in it, you would get uh, nosebleeds, gum bleeding, which is not what you want as traders. So um, foods that contain that, spinach and broccoli are kind of sources of vitamin K. Folic acid, which is actually vitamin B9, excuse me, or vitamin M, it gets the body the ability to repair itself. So it replaces the old cells with new cells. So I can only think that's a good thing for a trader, right? Just to keep fresh and keep new and keep stuff keep stuff flowing. I think life generally about that anyway, the flow of energy, the flow, the, the, the kind of replenishing of new uh, broccoli, lentils, beans, cauliflower, it says here in my list, a good source of folic acid. Calcium, guys, keeping bones and teeth strong, of course, we know that. Um, I don't think that means guzzling down liters of double cream or cheese, um, but you know we wanna kinda of keep our bones and our teeth in good condition as traders. Yogurt, cheese, milk, that kind of stuff. Iron, muscles, good for healthy blood as well. You fall sick if you have an iron deficiency and you start to notice it, so making sure we get iron. I think most people, probably if they're, uh, if they're eating meats, are getting a decent amount of iron, but you get st like stuff from uh, meat and obviously soybeans, cereals, beans, lentils, and spinach as well are also sources of iron. Okay, so I've kind of skipped through that. I've given you some ideas of the vitamins. Now, you know, probably consult with a nutritionist if you want to have a complete diet plan, you want to go into this a bit more depth. I'm just touching on it now, just to give us idea and really just to give us all a wake up call and say, hey, just treat ourselves a little bit nicer, guys. Just drink a little bit more, eat a little bit more healthy, you know, maybe consider some of supplements or whatever, uh, if it's part and you've got to con obviously consult with your doctor and all that kind of stuff first. Usual disclaimers apply. I am not a nutritionist, this is just from my perspective. Okay, salt. Oh, not overdoing the salt, so high blood pressure and cognitive decline, interesting enough. I found research that suggested that too much salt actually impairs your cognitive performance. And if that's not a reason to not to add the salt to your chips, then I don't know what is. Right, last one, guys, drugs, caffeine, alcohol, nicotine. Uh, I love uh, coffee. I do like lots of coffee. I drink occasionally. I don't overdo it because I know that it doesn't make you feel that great. And I don't smoke. But it says... There's positives and negatives to all these things. There's actually, surprisingly, there's positive trials done with nicotine with brain performance. But I think, if I'm honest, that the negatives far outweigh there's very slight positives of nicotine. Um, so cut that on the head if you can. I know, this, you know, if you're smoking, it's not as easy as that, but probably something to focus on. Also, good discipline muscles. If you're gonna stop smoking, then maybe it helps you to become a better trader, not only from a physical perspective, but from a mental perspective. Just some thoughts. Okay, alcohol as well. Pretty self-explanatory, guys. If you're trading drunk, prepare to lose your money. And caffeine, we probably all know the score of that. If you're a coffee drinker, you know the score. You when you've drunk too much coffee, you feel it. You feel kind of overwhelmed and, and really full of caffeine. So just regulating this stuff. This is all common sense, guys. I know I'm not sharing anything revolutionary with you. These are just ideas and things that perhaps we can take or I know I'm gonna keep aware of to try and become a better trader and try and be a better peak performance trader as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Comments in the comment section below. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.